Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed and in this video we're going to be talking about the upbeat. What is it? How does it relate to the downbeat? How do you use it? What does this even matter in our music? And how is it one of the most amazing musical understandings that you could possibly have and can enrich in every single song that you play from this moment in the future? We will talk all about these things. If you enjoy this, please do subscribe to this channel. So let's start off looking at the Ode to Joy. You know the Ode to Joy. Yes, it's a classic. The question is, what's an upbeat? That's our very first question of the day. And to know what an upbeat is, we need to know what a downbeat is. The downbeat is typically the very first beat of each measure. These are the big downbeats. Those are the biggest downbeats, boom. We could also say that the middle of the measure is also kind of a, a smaller downbeat as well. So like that one and that one. So the, the third beat is also one, but it's not as strong as the big downbeat, which is the first of every measure or the first of every new chord, which can come sometimes be by the half measure. But typically that's what we're talking about here. Upbeats is the note, is the beat right before the downbeat. So that would be the fourth beat of each measure in four, four times. So then these would be our upbeats. Um, so then listening to that, what does that even matter? What's the purpose of an upbeat? The purpose of an upbeat is like a big finger that points us towards the downbeat. The whole thing, it's like the guy, you know, you walk into the fancy ball and you've got the, the fellow there with his envelope reading and now we have the Duke of blah, 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 blah. And that, that's, the, that's the upbeat, is the guy announcing the main attraction, which is the downbeat. It's announcing the next big thing. It's the trumpet at the gates heralding something is coming. And that's what the, the, the upbeat does. And so then when we know that, then we can make the most of it. So listening to this, then we can think that upbeat the purpose of this note, purpose of this note is to get us to that one. The purpose of this note is to get us to that one. The purpose of the upbeat, I missed that one. The purpose of the upbeat is to get us to the downbeat, is to tell the listener something's coming. And so then with this one, so here Beethoven used an anticipation, the same note, right? It's the same note gotten there early. And so that perks up our ears. Um, that some that it's coming. Uh, he didn't do it here, but um, he did it again here. So it's the fourth beat is the upbeat. And so what we, what can we do with that? Well, with straight quarter notes, we can just be aware of it and just make the most of it. Don't throw it away. In other words, let's take a look at the cello prelude. So this is. You recognize this one? What we can do for this one, so we look at, okay, where are our bar lines, right? Here are our bar lines. And so then the last beat is this one right here. This is our upbeat. So what do we do with that upbeat? And because we have more than one note in that upbeat, we can do something with it. And one of the things that is wonderful to do with an upbeat is to crescendo, get louder. That means you get quieter towards the middle of the bar. This is just a general, this isn't 100% of the time, but as a generality, we get quieter, and then with the upbeat, we lead into it. We lean into the downbeat. And so even if the downbeat is not louder or a big, you know, arrival, I mean, after all, this is only the second measure of the whole piece, right? Then we can still just give it some oomph. Listen. We just lean into it and using that upbeat we can just lean towards the new the chord change or whatever the arrival is and it makes the music much more exciting that way we're always moving the listeners ear towards the new thing we keep the action driving forward and it's just a it's a wonderful way to make music more exciting so this is just a little bit further down the page um, and so we can see how we just do it in straight melodic playing as well that was that was more of a, a pattern based writing, but here. That 
that's the most important. So we could actually back off for all this, and then so that that last sixteenth, that last beat of the measure is the one. It's the special measure that can kick us forward towards the beginning. So that beat, it's oftentimes a lot of players just kind of throw that away thinking about the next big thing that's coming. But that is actually the exciting part. It's like the anticipation is, is, is more fun than the actual the arrival. I don't know who said it, but there's a good quote that um, satisfaction is the death of desire. And the downbeat is the satisfaction. The desire is the upbeat. Let's take another musical example here. This is Songe de Carho Yoish, Sound of Bells. So this, this piece is a great example of upbeats because this happens in music a whole lot and that is that he's writing around the upbeat. So the melody is all happening. This is in 2-4, but it's all happening. Upbeat leading to the downbeat. Upbeat leading to the downbeat. Even we have a grace or the pickup notes upbeat leading to the downbeat. And so then this is really common writing style. It's all upbeat. Da 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 boom. Da 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 boom. Da 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 boom. Just on and on. And it just really leads the music forward. So here's the next installment. Here's the next big thing. And that is bass upbeats. And bass upbeats are also equally exciting, and they are oftentimes in the middle of the bar. So here we're in 2-4 time, and so it's really easy to look at. Boom, and we have a big, long boom, boom. These are the bass upbeats. What we can do with the bass upbeat is to slightly offset it. We place it, boom, right just ever so slightly, as late as we can play it, so that it nudges us forward in time, like this. Wait, wait, da da, boom, da, um. Wait as long as you possibly can. This is the bass upbeat, and it's really effective to drive the music forward. And once you play that bass upbeat, then you just move right through the rest of the, the beat, the rest of that second beat. You'll oftentimes see this in music as half notes in the bass. And this is, it's super common. So here we have Eine Kleine Nacht music. You know this. The Einklein, Mozart, very popular song. Well, if you look at this, we just have steady half notes in the bass. And we have this also in the Bach that we just looked at as well, in the cello suite. Half note, half note. And so this is really common. Whenever we see this type of writing, we can 99.9% .9 of the time, we can say, okay, this second bass note is an upbeat. It's like the big, so it's kind of a half bar upbeat. So it's not the last beat, but if we think of the bass here, it's kind of playing in two, right? It's playing two big half notes. Boom. Boom. We could easily write this in cut time. It's not written in cut time. It's written in 4-4. Four, four. But we could write it in, in cut time and make it just two beats. One, two, just like the, uh, the Brazilian sound of bells that we just looked at. So these are our bass upbeats, and we can just offset those and then these are our actual upbeats. So we have different structures, different layers of, of structure within our upbeats. So wait, wait, da, boom, da 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 da, mm. But if we can just place that really well, it really gives a vitality and energy to the music and it just propels it forward. It keeps it really engaged as opposed to Instead of just plodding along, it just it makes it pop. Bump, boom. So this is the upbeat. I'm in love with the upbeat. You can also use words like and to hear or something like that at the end. Boom. And then to hear. Dum. And then to hear. And then to hear. And then to hear. And then to hear. And that brings it. It kind of gives it a verbal way of going forward.
So this is the upbeat. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to this channel. And I hope that you'll go and find some upbeats in your own music and play with them. All right. See you soon. Bye bye.